So how do we consider the relationship between pH and pKa? Well, the pH of a solution will have an effect on the predominant structure of the acid. In other words, do I have more HA or do I have more A minus? Let's take, for example, this generic acid shown below. So if I have HA here with a pKa of 5, under what type of conditions will I have more HA? And in what type, what type of conditions will I have A minus? Here I have a pH of 5, where I have pKa is equal to pH. Up here, I have a pH of 6. This would be considered more basic. And down here at a pH of 4 would be considered more acidic. So what influence will this have? Well, the ratio of the protonated acid and its conjugate base will be directly related to the pH, which is a measure of the hydrogen ion in solution. If pH is equal to pKa, then the concentration of A- minus will equal that of A-. minus. So here, concentration of HA is equal to concentration of A-. minus. When I have higher, more basic conditions, the quantity of A minus will increase. And so what I'm going to get is increased A minus here. And when I have lower, more acidic pH, the quantity of HA will increase. And this is because I have more protons available to protonate A minus. So when pH is equal to pKa, the concentration of conjugate acid is equal to that of conjugate base. Under basic conditions, we have more deprotonated anion. And under more acidic condition, we have more protonated acid. This will become important as we talk about amino acids.